Hey guys, Jeremy here for The Armory Life. You may have not heard of Smith Enterprises Incorporated or SEI, but they have certainly made a great impact on this nation and our soldiers. The Smith family has been in the weapons business since 1910. With their extensive knowledge in weapon systems, especially pushing the limits of the M14, Ron Smith was one of the few chosen to breathe life back into the M14 during the early 2000s. Now in the early 2000s, the United States Army needed a more powerful rifle that could engage at distances over what the current M16s were capable of. The US Army had thousands of M14s in the armory that were in poor shape, but were still very viable option for the Army. Ron Smith was one of the men brought in to get these rifles back in fighting shape and updated for the 2nd Infantry Division, 10th Mountain, 25th Infantry Division, 503rd PIR, and Sailors of the USS Manhattan. These rebuilt M14s needed to be capable of one MOA, and they would be going into the hands of the designated marksman units. The rifle that was delivered to these units was the M21A5 Crazy Horse Rifle developed by Smith Enterprise. SEI delivered hundreds of Crazy Horse Rifles to the US military with great success. The rifles were extremely reliable in the harsh Afghanistan deserts, and they were put to use with devastating accuracy. Lucky for us civilians, you too can own a Crazy Horse from Smith Enterprise. You can purchase each item that Smith has developed for the Crazy Horse rifles separately, or choose to have your rifle sent in and built out by Ron, the founder, and Andy, the manager armorer over at Smith Enterprise. I've always been a bit of a history nerd on the M14 and its variants over the years in different conflicts. Seeing soldiers in the GWAT, or Global War on Terror, putting the M25A5 and the Mark 14 Mod Zero rifles to use in the early 2000s has inspired me to push the capability of my M1A collection. After some research, I realized that Ron Smith, the president of Smith Enterprise Incorporated, operates their shop a mere 20 miles from my office. I set off with a goal to turn my M1A standard issue rifle into a legendary crazy horse rifle. The M1A from the factory is an impressively capable and accurate rifle without any modifications. But what more could the rifle do in the hands of master craftsmen like Ron Smith and Andy Horton? The rifle arrived at Smith Enterprise and the team got to work doing what they do best. One of the most immediate and noticeable upgrades being done is the trigger group modification. The hammer pin, trigger pin, and hammer spring are replaced, bringing the trigger pull to a crisp 4.5 pound pull. Apparently there's also some secret sauce that goes into this, making this one of the best trigger modifications for the M1A on the market. Smith replaced the barrel with an SEI 22 inch 1 in 10 twist right hand medium weight barrel that has been chambered for M118LR and has been salt bath nitrided. The op rod was polished and then sent off for salt bath nitride as well. The gas system was replaced with the SEI Warfighter gas system. This includes the M80HT gas cylinder, the SBR hard chrome piston, and the M80HT standard gas plug. These are precision machined to work flawlessly with your M1A for ultimate reliability. The scope mount used is made by Smith and is wire EDM 4140 chromoly steel that is double heat treated as well as M80HT, corrosion resistant, 60 HRC surface. The mount has a see-through channel for the use with iron sights. This is one of the few M1A scope mounts with an NSN number, meaning that it has been sold to and used by our US military. Once installed, this thing will not budge. Smith added their M14 National Match front sight, which are heat treated, 4140, chromoly, and Mil-I 171 manganese phosphate finished to reduce glare. The match sights feature a narrow 0.062 inch wide front blade for a crisp, clean sight picture. Taming the muzzle rise is the SEI National Match Muzzle Brake. This brake was designed to match perfectly the profile of the USGI flash hider, making it legal for use in CMP and other matches. It is a two-piece brake manufactured from 8620 steel with 60 RC surface hardness and salt bath nitride corrosion resistant finish. A huge quality of life upgrade is the SEI M1A 8620 steel extended bolt stop slash release. This gives you a bolt catch that is very similar to what you'd find on your AR-15 type rifles. It's large and easy to actuate when locking the bolt back or releasing it without having to manually move the op rod. For the optic, Smith chose a Leopold Mark V 3.6-18. Smith has had a relationship with Leopold going back years, so it was an obvious choice as their favorite for this rifle. The Mark V is crystal clear, easy to zero, and tracks perfectly. On the range, we tested the handling and accuracy of the Crazy Horse Rifle. 
It was very cool to see Ron and Andy shooting this legendary rifle that they have spent decades refining. The Crazy Horse is smooth and very easy to control. With match ammo, this rifle shoots half MOA all day long. The trigger was the best M1A trigger I have ever felt. There's no mush, it's very crisp, and it's smooth, and it's a smooth 4.5 pound pull. It helped my accuracy knowing exactly where the break was without having to press too hard. Once the shot broke, the muzzle device really tamed the muzzle rise without obnoxiously concussing everyone to my right or left. The Bradley M1A cheek rest is an absolute must for shooting with a magnified optic. It was comfortable, easily adjustable for the right height, and doesn't add much weight to the rifle. The M1A M14 is one of my all-time favorite rifles. From the history, design, military service, and rebirth in the early 2000s, the M1A M14 is just a workhorse that delivers. When you handle an M1A, you can immediately feel that you're holding something special. The weight of this rifle, and the feel of it, as well as the mechanical nature of racking the bolt, stir something inside of you. This rifle was born to serve troops in battles and win wars. I really respect how Smith Enterprise approaches the customer relationship. Before suggesting what they think the customer wants, they ask more questions to make sure they are meeting each customer's specific needs. Building rifles for individuals and pouring their passion and craftsmanship into each firearm that leaves their shop. I feel honored to be able to tell stories about this venerable platform, especially ones that include legends like Ron Smith and his team, who helped pioneer a new era for the M14, giving our soldiers a new edge in which to serve their country and overcome their adversaries. If you haven't had the pleasure of handling an M1A, I would suggest finding a store or a range with one and giving it a run. If you already have an M1A, give Smith Enterprise a call and see how they could make your experience with the rifle even better. If you live in Arizona, call ahead, head down to their shop, go shake Ron and Andy's hands, hear a few stories, and it'll definitely be a trip to remember.